It's time to take five for safety. It's time for another episode of Let's Not Die Today on the Toolbox Talk Show Network. Compliance training is broken. Let's fix it. Go to 7taps.com. Check out their community version. You can build a course on there. You can distribute it very easily. Email, text, QR code. If you love the community version, well, then try out the pro version. Get all our bonuses, which include seven courses already made for you, a nice little discount, and a 30-minute call with me to get you started. Check it out, toolboxtalkshow.com backslash training. Our topic today, power tool safety. You know, power tools seem to be an everyday part of life, and that can lead to complacency. Power tools can be dangerous when not used properly. In this episode, we will discuss ways you can stay safe when operating a power tool. Let's start with definitions. A power tool is a tool that is actuated by an additional power source and mechanism other than just manual labor that is used with hand tools. The most common power tools are electric, pneumatic, liquid fuel, hydraulic, and power actuated. Or a power tool is a power device that aids in accomplishing a task. These can include tools for cutting, grinding, drilling, sanding, or fastening, just to name a few. Let's talk history. The Egyptians created one of the first power tools of sorts. However, primitive by today's standard, the development of a hand-powered lathe is widely considered the first ever power tool. The Greeks developed a drill that was powered using a crank. When the crank was rotated, the drill would spin to put holes in objects. In 1895, the first modern power tool was invented, the electric power drill. A German engineering company, c e Fine Company, combined a drill with the power of an electric motor. Although cutting edge for its time, this drill weighed over 16 pounds. It was powered by a large but relatively weak DC electric motor. The drill was bulky, and the operator had to hold it by both handles and lean into a chest plate to drill into the work surface. It would take 20 years for someone to improve on this model. In 1910, Duncan Black, a tool and die worker, scraped together $600 to start a machine shop. His friend Alonzo Decker would become his partner, and together they decided to improve on the C&E drill. In 1916, they started selling a trigger switch, pistol grip, electric drill inspired by the Colt 45. One person could operate it, and it had a small, powerful motor. This humble start was the beginning of Black and Decker a company that, as of May 2022, has a market value of over $17 billion. On September 17th, 1991, ABC Network even launched a show based on men's obsession with power tools, Home Improvement, starring Tim Allen. This show would run for eight seasons with a total of 204 episodes. If you haven't seen this 90s classic, You should check it out. You can purchase it and stream it on Amazon, among other platforms. Let's talk statistics. Power tools cause over 960,000 injuries every year. Power tools cause 200 deaths per year. Males suffer more power tool injuries than females. No surprise there. The leading cause of injuries in the construction industry is contact with piercing or cutting tools such as saws, nail guns, and drills. The most common injuries, according to OSHA, caused by power tools include electric shock, eye injuries, puncture wounds, crushing injuries, and amputations. Oh, and don't feel so safe when you're home and not at work, because more injuries happen at home than at work. The number of emergency room visits per year caused by power tools may surprise you. Here's the short list. Circular saws, 10,600 ER visits every year. Power drills. 5,800 ER visits every year. Chainsaws, 36,000 ER visits every year. Nail guns, 37,000 ER visits every year. And table saws, 29,000 ER visits every year. Let's talk safety. Safety tip number one, inspect before use. Inspect power tools for damage before you use them. Inspect power cords, look for frayed wires and damaged plugs. If it does not pass inspection, take it out of service. Safety tip number two, an oldie but a goodie, personal protective equipment, PPE. Take a minute and assess the job, what PPE is required. 
Be sure to wear all the appropriate personal protective equipment for the job. You should typically wear safety glasses and gloves when operating most power tools. Many power tools produce noise levels that exceed 85 decibels, so don't forget your hearing protection. Safety tip number three, guards. All safety guards must remain in place. Never, ever remove guards. Severe injuries can occur. Many of these injuries result in severe lacerations or amputations. Safety tip number four, electrical hazards. Power tools should have a three-pronged grounded plug or be double insulated and UL listed. Using power tools in wet or damp environments can be potentially dangerous and should be avoided. Always unplug tools before adjusting, installing, or changing any accessory or attachment. Safety tip number five, general safety. Do not wear loose-fitting clothing or jewelry that dangles. Restrain long hair. Keep fingers and hands away from rotating or moving parts. Keep work areas clean. Ensure that cords from electric tools do not create a tripping hazard. Following these tips can save you from accidents, injuries, and even death. Thanks for listening to another episode of Let's Not Die Today. If you'd like free PDF versions of all our talks, please visit our homepage, scroll about halfway down, and sign up for our mailing list. As always, you can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. If you love what we do, please tell your employer about us. We love you too. See you next time.